If you want to get out of those small bras, you're going to have to do the same exercise and technique I do. There's an exercise? Of course there is. You hold your arms out like this and you say, I must, I must, I must increase my bust. I must, I must, I must increase my bust. Does that really work? I'm living proof. Now come on, get up. Stand up. We I must, we must, we must increase our bust. We must, we must, we must increase our bust. We must, we must, we must increase our bust. Shut up. We You're must so increase our bust. Shut up. I feel it working. It works. Ah! <laughs> How many of us can relate to that moment? So Those awkward. growing pains, hilariously <laughs> captured in the new movie, Are You There, God? It's Me, Margaret. That story is making its way to the big screen from the timeless coming-of-age novel written by the one and only Judy Bloom. The iconic author's 29 published books have sold more than 90 million copies and been translated into 39 languages, and we are so fortunate today to welcome everybody here in the studio, the legendary Judy Bloom. You know how many people are so excited here just to have you here, oh, to be so able to great. talk to you? Eve and I are excited as well. You've written dozens of books. You say this character, though, Margaret, speaks to your readers uh, in, in a certain way and translates across generations. How so? Oh, because it's been around for 53 years, I think. That's how but long. But still and relevant. It, She's still yes, relevant after yes, all these years. Yes. Isn't that great? I don't know why. <laughs> I can't explain it. I think it's because... I was Margaret. You know, I, I was so, so much Margaret. And, so. and Eva was saying we were she was Margaret. Margaret. Yeah. I think yeah. we all thought we were Margaret. That's it. <laughs> we are all Margaret. And, uh, and for, the, for the movie, I mean, I thought at first it was for the nostalgic generation, you know, the people who grew up reading it whether they're 30 or 40 or 50 or 60. Um, but it turns out that it seems to be pleasing all ages. Mm -hmm. You know, whether you want to bring your kids or your girls night out or we've seen guys laughing. I've seen guys coming out of the men's room gushing tears, which moved me, I can't tell you. It's because it brought back their daughters to them. That adolescence awkwardness, we all experienced it. It doesn't matter if you had a cell phone or you were reading from a book back mm -hmm. in the day. We, we all know what awkward feels like. Or I think like. if you were a boy or a girl, too. Yeah, exactly. Awkward. Yes, I love boys reading <laughs> Margaret. It's good for them to learn some of the things that <laughs> Margaret has to go good. through. <laughs> so many of us grew up reading this book and falling in love with Margaret. But this book and some of your other books are now on banned book lists after all this time. Well, they were in the 80s, you know. The, I was really hit in the 80s, and then we thought, oh, okay, this is dissipating. It never went completely away, but it was getting better. Now, it's just worse than ever. And it's all kinds of books are being targeted that weren't around or weren't targeted in the 80s. I mean, it's crazy, it's scary. It's from the government. It's from elected legislators. And we have to speak out, because if we don't, we're going to lose books. So at the time you wrote this book, you were married in your 20s with kids, but you candidly talk about uh, th this epiphany you had that you needed something more. Um, how did that influence the rest of your career? It was, it was that, you know, all the time I was growing up and in school, I had an outlet for my creative energies. There was always something to do, paint, act sing, whatever. And suddenly, you know, I loved having babies. I get along better with babies than with teenagers. Yeah. But <laughs> actually... I most um, of us do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. Yeah. But um, I, I, I need... I had all this creative energy, and I needed an outlet. It could have been anything, but because I was home with little kids, really little kids, um, you know, I wanted to find something I mean, women in my neighborhood in suburban New Jersey did not work in 1970. And um, I really wanted to work. And so this is what you chose to do. We've loved following your career and reading your books, but if there was anything else that you could do, if you were dreaming of doing something else, what would it have been? Well, when I was little, I dreamed of being a cowgirl. <laughs> I outgrew that. <laughs> then I dreamed of being a movie star. These were the things I knew, because I went sure. to the movies. And I outgrew that. And um, it never occurred to me to be a writer, to write. No. I think if I were coming back today, 
you know, I, I, I used to have a sweatshirt that said, I'd really rather direct. <laughs> and I think it would be great fun to do what Kelly has done with, um, with our movie here. She, she adapted it, she wrote it, and she directed it. And she is so talented. Can I just ask you, and this is, I know so yes. many people think about this when they talk about a writer like you, or writers like Stephen King, Tom Clancy, who just do it, right? Like how, how did you, what, is there a secret sauce to be able to have a career in writing and to have so many people love your books, generation to generation? What is it? And did you know you had it? No, I never knew I had it. Are you kidding? I didn't know if anything would be published. But the secret sauce. Yeah. The secret sauce. Leaning close on this one. The secret sauce. <laughs> what is it? It's determination, uh, I think. I mean, talent is very important. But you can be talented and not have the determination. And I, I really think for me, you know, because I got shot down a lot, um, and I just kept saying, maybe you don't like this book, but wait till you see the next mm. one. And I kept going. Nobody what? shoots you down anymore, though. That's the thing with determination. Of course, be they undeniable. Do. Of course, they, they do. They do. Of course, they they love to. Yes. Yeah. Oh, really? Well, well, we're glad that you persevered, <laughs> Judy Bloom. Thank you so much for being here. And you can check out. Are You There, God? It's Me, Margaret, which comes out in theaters this Friday. It's a beautiful movie. It's I'm very, very excited. I love it. And I don't say that lightly. Uh, no, it's such a pleasure to meet you, really. Thank you. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.